say we only use a fraction of our brain's true potential. Now, that's when we're awake. When we're asleep, our mind can do almost anything. Such as? Well, imagine you're designing a building, right? You consciously create each aspect. But sometimes it feels like it's almost creating itself, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah like I'm discovering it. Genuine inspiration, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in a dream, our mind continuously does this. We create and perceive our world simultaneously. And our mind does this so well that we don't even know this what's happening. This voice is coming from the movie Inception. And according to that, it was considered that the brain and dreams are correlated. They are involved in to each other. But is that true? Let's just investigate. A vast majority of sleep research is neurological in nature. According to some of the nature's simplest animals, sleep may have evolved for physiological reasons long before brain have ever existed. This is on test time. You're watching Discover the New. Sleep evolved before brains. Hydras are the living proof. You never need motivation from outside. Let's investigate. The hydra is a very simple creature. Its tubular body is less than half an inch long and has a foot at one end and the mouth at the other. The foot clings to an underwater surface, perhaps a plant or a rock and tentacle ringed mouth and snares passing water fleas. It lacks a brain for sure and a significant portion of its nervous system. Despite this new research indicates that it sleeps. A team of researchers from South Korea and Japan discovered that Hydra periodically enter a rest state that meets the essential criteria for sleep on the surface that may appear improbable. Sleep researchers have been looking for the purpose and structure of sleep in the brain of over a century. They investigated the links between sleep, memory and learning. They've counted the neural circuits that send us into obvious slumber and pull us out of it. They have studied the telltale changes in brain waves that occur as we progress through the stages of sleep and attempted to understand what caused them mountains of research and people's daily experience attest to the brain's connection to human sleep however a counter narrative to this brain centric view of sleep has emerged scientists have discovered that molecules produced by the muscles and other tissue other than the nervous system can regulate sleep sleep affect metabolism throughout the body implying that its influence is not solely neurological and decades of research has shown that the basic organism with less and less brain spend a lot of time doing something that looks a lot like sleep their action have been labeled as sleep like at times but as more information has revealed it's becoming less clear why the distinction is required it appears that simple creatures including now the brainless hydra can sleep and the intriguing implication of that finding is that sleep's original role buried billions of years back in life history may have been very different from the standard human conception of it. If sleep does not require a brain then it may be a profoundly broader phenomenon than we supposed. The evidence for sleep in creatures with minimal nervous systems appeared to reach a new height about five years ago with studies of jellyfish. The Cassiopeia jellies, which are about four inches long, spend the majority of their time upside down, tentacles reaching for the ocean surface, pulsing to push seawater through their bodies. If that animal slept, sleep was for whatever the context was, the scientists said that sleep might have helped to maintain the first sleeper's rudimentary nervous system. But it could just as easily have been 
for the benefit for the metabolism or digestion. Before we had a brain, we had a gut, scientists said. So let me ask you, do sponges sleep? Well, that's a whole new world. There might be ways to test that. Thank you for watching. Keep subscribing and keep spreading our content. Thank you.